Drug cheats, there's no greater scourge in sport. Jared Mullen is living with that shame after receiving a four-year ban for testing positive to anabolic steroids. Tonight, he breaks his silence in a Seven News exclusive. Mel McLaughlin is here, and Mel, for the first time, Jared Mullen reveals exactly what happened. That's right, Fergo, and he's been very open as well. Mullen insists he's not a drug cheat, but does admit he made a grave error of judgment that's ruined his life. He says he doesn't want sympathy, but does want others to learn from his mistake. Jared Mullen's positive drug test stunned the rugby league world. His closest friends and former teammate, Willie Mason. Myself and the rest of Australia want to know what actually happened. I just want to say that I take you know, full responsibility for, um, you know, sort of what happened. Uh, I'm not here to, to blame anyone else. Newcastle's highest paid player, Mullen, was touted as the next Andrew Johns. But his career unravelled repeatedly, tearing hamstrings off the bone. I could have sat back and, you know, collected my money for the next sort of three years, kept tearing the hamstring and, and not trying to do anything about it, but... Um, you know, I want to be out there helping my team. Knight's medical staff couldn't fix Mullen's injuries. Pressure mounted, he sought treatment from a physiotherapist outside the club. I trusted the bloke. I've known him for 10 years. He tossed up a amino acid sort of injection to help help with the healing. The injection was in fact banned steroid drostenolone. Which is a thing that uh, helps cure breast cancer. Asada conducted a routine drug test seven weeks later. How did you feel when they said it's positive for anabolic steroids? I was, I was gutted. If I was intentionally going out there to, to improve myself, to get bigger, faster, stronger, I'm happy to cop the four years. The four-year ban would have been reduced to two years had Mullen named and shamed the physio who injected him. In hindsight, you probably should have. It's ruined my life, pretty much. A lot of people would be on suicide watch. Yeah. But has there been any help from anywhere? To be honest, I haven't heard from the NRL. Jared Mullen is one of the most recognisable people here in Newcastle. He was once the toast of the town admired and respected but over the last few months he's felt such shame he struggled to leave his own home the only thing that's really killing me is, is um yeah is my family having to go through it yeah it's only that kills me jared mullen's story is a lesson for all athletes. Don't trust anyone. Just do whatever the club says. Liam Cox, 7 News.